Housing instability is on the rise across the valley with more people falling behind on rent. Meanwhile, home prices keep going up and there are new increases in the cost of lumber and other construction materials. I spoke today with Alice Salinas, the executive director of the Coachella Valley Housing Coalition. Alice, first off, what have you heard from people who depend on your organization for help and how has the pandemic impacted the services you provide them? Well, the, pan the pandemic has greatly impacted um, the folks that we serve, which include um, low-income farm workers and low-income families and formerly homeless individuals. Um, the biggest impact has been people's ability to pay rent. So what we've been doing is partnering with Wells Fargo Bank, uh, the NeighborWorks, America Network, Lift to Rise, and the County of Riverside to help provide rental assistance to people who have fallen behind in rent. We've distributed approximately $400,000 to our residents across 42 properties in the Coachella Valley to ensure that people are not falling behind in rent. So we've been very fortunate to have these partners to assist us, to provide us the financial resources to keep people housed. The other impact uh, that the, that the, that the uh, COVID-19 has had on us is that people are in dire need of food. Um, and we have been able to raise funds from the California Wellness Foundation to allow us to partner with the Fine Food Bank to provide food to our residents. So there's a great need for food the other need that we, we are experiencing that we must address is the need for mental health services. So people are feeling very isolated. People are having mental health issues. So we are currently working with um, Borrego Health on various health initiatives, and we would like to include a mental health component into our social service programming. On, on an aside, um, on the construction end, we are affordable housing developer and we have a massive pipeline of affordable housing projects. Um, we have projects in DHS, Palm Springs, um, the um, east side of the Coachella Valley and um, we are finding that construction uh, materials, the cost of the materials are increasing incredibly, making our, our new single family homes for first time home buyers unaffordable. So incomes are not going up is what we're experiencing with construction costs increasing. It's making housing incredibly unaffordable. Um, and we're working with um, people like the state of California, Housing and Community Development Part Department, um, the city of Indio, um, the county of Riverside, all of these fantastic government agencies to try to make housing affordable. But we are, we are experiencing some pretty serious challenges. Yeah, it's certainly an interesting time. Obviously, we've had all of the challenges from the pandemic. And as you just mentioned, we also have an increased demand for housing in the Coachella Valley and construction costs are on the rise. Do you anticipate that things will improve soon or do you think it's going to get worse? I think it's going to, I think it's going to improve. Um, I definitely see light at the end of the tunnel with uh, President Biden's infrastructure plan. We have a serious challenge in the east side of the Coachella Valley where many of our farm workers live and there's no water um, and the water that we do have has arsenic and we need to deal with these injustices. We also see that most of these injustices um, are experienced by Mexicanos, Latinos, people of color. So not only is there a, a need for more financial resources, there's a need for racial equity and fairness. And our agency is about promoting justice and fairness, as well as building affordable housing for the most vulnerable. I am hopeful that the Biden administration and also officials at the state level will increase resources to deal with these issues. What do people who are in a tough situation need to know and, and what can your organization do to help them? I think they need to know that affordable housing is not a negative thing. Affordable housing does not lower home values, that affordable housing is an opportunity to st stabilize families and to provide them a decent, safe and affordable place to live. We fight against NIMBYism all the time. And I just wanna send a message to the NIMBYs 
that we're good people, our tenants are very responsible, um, our projects are managed professionally. So if we can get our, our homeowners and our homeowner associations to join together in the affordable housing movement, I think that would greatly help those in need. I also think that we continuously need to pass policies that make it easier and less expensive to build affordable housing. That will help um, us build more units. All right, Alice, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye-bye.